Well, the ticks are waiting for me. That's the door of my uh, RV. Disgusting evil things. I don't know how they do it. I'm going to have to look up on the internet. Let me see if I can refocus. These evil things. God, I hate them so bad. They sit there. They get on something you've touched last. Now, I was, I've been in and out of here this morning. And they get on something you've last touched and they hang out there and wait for you. The ticks are so bad right now. Here's another one. This is the uh, foam insulation that fell out from up there. And there's another one. They're just waiting for me everywhere. It's so creepy. They're all over inside here waiting on me. I don't know where how they do that and I don't understand but they are thick out here I'll show you what happened uh, while I was gone it's a bit of a jungle out here and um, I have a mess to take care of I'll show you that in a minute but wow just getting out the door is a hazard here now I've got some organic uh, tick repellent that I put on this is all essential oils and I'll find out especially today if that's going to work out for me. These things are thick out here, just on my door. Creepy things. Look at them just hanging there waiting for me to touch that door latch. So I'm going to do some tick killing. And once I break through out of this place intact, then I'll uh, get my camera going and show you what's going on outside and why the ticks are so bad. This is the tick dispatcher. I just killed them all. Um, I just very carefully and slowly don't panic if you get a tick walking on you. I like to kill everyone I can get a hold of Because um, the less ticks there are out there to attack you the better So if I find a tick in my arm or hand or belly or whatever I take a pair of pliers and I carefully go and it reaches towards it generally and uh, Makes your job easier and you squish it So if you find a tick walking on you, they're really slow moving things so I use players to kill them and done with it squish them. They're hard to kill. You can't squish them with your fingernail um, I found players are the best in the easiest way So anyway, I've cleared my door open and I've taken and sprayed you can see the oily spots here um, I've sprayed my doorway the inside and out with the tick repellent and I hope it works I have sprayed along the side of the RV. You see an oily residue there um hoping to keep the ticks off my entrance this is bad uh oh uh oh they want to free range that is not good the babies are all over because I'm home and I did not feed them it's funny while I was gone I was gonna get to that and show you but while I was gone they stayed inside and they were safe and they made it through with no problem they're just fine they grew up they're getting big but anyway while I was gone they were fine but now that I'm here they are following me around unfortunately and they're all over the place now here's why it's such a mess here everything is growing over um, it's green fast I mean really fast it has rained a lot in just a few days I was gone and everything has gone wild look here right outside my RV can you see how tall that grass is that's a good uh, 18 24 inches tall everywhere and this is tick city it's a mess they're just this is horrible the first thing I'm gonna do today is get my uh, lawnmower out um, the birds got into my garden which by the way is now a forest <sighs> my garden is literally a forest now it is a serious mess um, I'm gonna have to actually mow it before I can finish tilling but at least, well you maybe see next to that hen how tall the grasses are here um, it's really bad you can't even see some of these birds in there for the height of the grass I have to capture them and put them in figure out why they're getting out that's a lot of birds out well, anyway I'll put these guys away and then I'm gonna have to get the mower out first thing I can't believe I have to mow my garden before I can even till it 
this is really bad. The uh, weather was favorable for the plants while I was gone. I don't know if you remember these two stalks. They were just, um, there was not a leaf on them, those two trees that were growing up right there. So, all right, I'm going to put away the birds and then um, show you the rest of what's going on in the few days I was gone here. I've got the birds put away. This is quite a mess here. I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it. It's so dense. I have to figure out why the birds are getting out. Well, look at them. They want to come near me. I should feed them and then maybe they won't, won't bother me. I think that's what I'll do and then I can walk around and I'll continue the tour here. Well, they all survived. My, um, my netting and uh, my raccoon proof fence is doing its job. All the birds are alive and well. And they were not closed up at night when I was gone. So they were on their own. So that's good no good news. <sighs> Very good. Yeah, and somebody I asked what about I mentioned about how birds or the chickens are um, why they're not tame, and now I see the advantage of having them not so tame. They're um, not allowing me to move very well. Of course, they won't let me pick them up, but they're um, at my feet. Even my little rooster. Look, the hens are as big as my little rooster now. It's funny. So we'll throw them some food. See, these guys are eating well, or they wouldn't be alive right now. But the... Um, Wow. They prefer their food for some reason, regardless. I'm going to feed the birds before I get mobbed. We have dense vegetation here. I can't believe what a couple days of warmth and rain does. Look at that. Wow. I'll try to move slower. I heard that um, this HD camera gives a lot of people motion sickness. Now, so I'll... Um, Try my hardest to not make it so shaky. One of my grapes is bushing out nice. I was starting to wonder if that was going to grow. I have to put up a trellis and get that off the, the deer netting. Oh, they no seams are a nightmare right now. They came out as well with the change in weather. I have to start getting my eucalyptus on me. I have to check myself for ticks continuously now. They're so bad. Now I'll show you what how I did my um, my parents gave me a solar charge controller last year. A solar oh, I keep saying charge controller. Solar um, electric fence. And I it had a bad battery, so I put it in the back of my truck. Plugged it into the truck batteries, the um, solar batteries that I had in the bed of my truck, my survival batteries. Ran the wires out to the electric fence. And this is the raccoon proof fencing. And then hooked up my solar panel. And I think you can hear it popping. It doesn't really um, show the light anymore, but it pops nicely. So that's working. And that kept my chickens alive and well. So, um, that's good. I haven't checked the seedlings yet. I had to cover them again. So we'll see how they did. Uh, my apple tree, which I showed you a couple days ago, has um, blossomed completely in the car yesterday. And it smelled, it, it was like the finest perfume in my car. Completely blossomed out. So I'm going to take the twine off and let that bush back out. And hopefully get it planted today. Uh, we're supposed to have thunderstorms, so we'll see how that goes. First thing is mowing, because this, you'd never know I mowed. Also, we had rain, 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 rain. That's filled to the top. Uh, it's very blackened, dirty water because of the junk coming off the trees, so I guess my screen isn't doing a good enough job. So that's, that's not good. I'll have to treat that with some bleach. Um, I'm risking my life just walking through this stuff because of the uh, the thickness of the ticks out here in the bush. 
I can't believe I just can't believe it really grew up I'm happy I put that netting up look at that that grass was not there the other day crazy fast growth crazy fast growth so if I can work my way through here without touching any larger grass I have to show you um, the reason I have so many ticks in here I believe because um, my fence is down my I have two electric fence systems now I have the raccoon proofing fence for the chickens and I have the outer perimeter fence for to stop deer and larger animals from coming into my domain that fence is out of operation but well, I gotta wear a hat now the bugs are terrible that fence is decommissioned by a couple trees we had some severe weather and um, there's a tree in the middle of my yard which took out the whole fence line here and uh, I have to get that done as soon as I mow um, that's something I can do while it's raining as well I have to get the um, two trees down too it's weird that was a healthy live tree so it was a maple uh, I like maples for tapping but that one will never see adulthood Anyway, wow no Sam's are nightmare I'm waving in front of my face the whole time you'll probably see them on video anyway so uh, no electric fence and the deer have been grazing happily um, I had before I left I quickly popped in a couple trees because I wanted them in the ground there's one there there's one here these were the trees that I had up on my porch and here's one here now the deer seem to like uh, peach is it peach yes um, they stripped off every single branch every bud every sprout all the way up to almost my shoulder level they stripped that down to nothing it's growing well up on top but they cleaned it off on the stalk cleaned it off so uh, my yard is full of ticks and has had deer crossing through again again look at how bad this grass is So that's the first thing I'm going to do right now. Get mowing. Clean this place up. And then I have, the next thing is to get my, my fence fixed because I do believe it was stopping the deer because they weren't bothering my trees before. And this one has been clearly trimmed neatly all the way from top to bottom. Well, up to where they could reach. So, I'm going to get to it. There's a couple ticks right there. They're on everything I have touched. I just took some off the other tent zipper. Um, they're on everything I touched. Every single thing I've ever touched they're sitting on. Just waiting for me. Oh, it's disgusting. I'm just going around killing ticks right now. I had to keep my pliers in my back pocket and just go around killing ticks on every single thing I touch. Well, good old lawnmower. Got that old boy for free. As I mentioned last time I used it, thing works. It started making a funny squealing noise, I'm not sure what it was, so I decided to stop for a minute and uh, check the oil. Um, oil's fine, but I just added a little touch anyway to uh, make sure it wasn't too low. It was down just a tiny, tiny bit, but that wasn't it. Check the shroud, that's not it. The brake isn't it. Found a piece of grass had gone up inside, I think that was rubbing on the flywheel maybe. Sure was a shrieking, horrible noise. I have push mode all the way around. I don't know what time it is, but I don't think it took long because it's cool out. But I've mowed by hand so far all the way around, all the way back to that downed tree over here. And the whole meadow around here, I have to trim around the solar panels. It's getting pretty out of hand. And then I'm going to have to get my trimmer and go inside around the trees. And I'm going to put it, finish putting edging around the or protection around the trees as well when I get a chance around the other trees. Um, it certainly would have helped this one. It's still good. It's going to grow. 
but um, it lost a lot of foliage. But anyway, I've got just a little bit left here to do. I'm going to take a break because I'm dehydrated from the trip yesterday. Um, it took me 12 hours to get home and I don't drink much when I'm driving so that I can uh, make it without bathroom breaks. So I'm going to finish that up after my little break here. And um, fortunately, it's not raining yet. It's a very clear sky. There's a big bad storm on the way around noon. So I got to hurry up, take my break, rehydrate. I have to trim all the way around this fence line, all the way around the whole perimeter of the property, everywhere. Get that tree cut, get the fence repaired. Now, the deer have not been entering this place. I know it because I watched them going around before. And this is where they used to come down, right here. Now that the fence is down, they're simply walking through. And I can tell you I know that that's a fact because over here... Now with the power off, they came through here and they broke. They literally broke the fence. I found out this wire laying on the ground. I'm like, what? Could have done that and now i know the deer um they came in over here freely just walked right through without the power it uh didn't stop the deer and they just walked right through and they came over here and um this side of the fence was up so they just broke it off just pushed right through and broke it off so um that does tell me that the deer were um not passing through here before and with the power down they did so I do believe that fence was making a huge difference. So I urgently have to get that going again today. This is this is wild. You um, go away for a couple days and the place is insane in the spring. Now August won't be like this. It'll be hotter and the growth won't be as, as crazy. <sighs> Here's something I wish I could save. But there's just no way. All those yellow flowers, I don't know if you see them, I'll know later when I upload this video. All the yellow flowers are wild strawberries. There's millions of them, and I'm not exaggerating. I mean, the whole forest floor is dotted with these yellow flowers. I don't know if it shows up, like I said, until later. But that's all wild strawberries right here. And they're just thick i mean thick thick all over the forest floor half this meadow is strawberries um those are the little ones and i've got the bigger ones over here where are they now here these are the bigger juicier fatter strawberries these white ones and they're all over this area now these i think i might try to transplant because what happens is once they bear fruit the um, little animals get them, and I don't. I never get the fruit from the strawberries around here. Not one, ever. So I think I'm going to try to transplant some of these later and make myself a strawberry bed. That would be really nice. Um, I want to, as I had said, make this center of the meadow, all of this here, a um, herb garden one day, next year. But to do that, see, I don't know if you see those flowers. They're all through the, the floor, the forest floor. Anyway, to make this an herb garden, I uh, will have to protect it from the critters. And that's a project. So, because the squirrels and the um, chipmunks are the ones that eat the strawberries, and I never get any. Look at how dense this is around my fence. This is going to be a job. So after my break, I'll continue trimming. And again, there's strawberries all through here. Just thick through here. Oh, it's incredible. And if I don't uh, bring them in, I'll never see one of them. Oh, there's grapes. There's wild grapes growing right here. I think I'll put that on a trellis and tame it. Right here along my fence line. That's very nice. My birds, oh, there, now I see. Something knocked down the fence back here and they're walking right on out. Well, I gotta catch my little silky, be right back. Well, I just untied my apple tree. Look at all the 
flowers opening up. It's pretty. That made a nice perfume in my car on the way home. Oh, these flowers, it's got so many flowers. <laughs> so many flowers. But, I just read that it needs a pollinator, which means I think that it needs a second tree to uh, pollinate with, to cross-pollinate with. And since this was grown in a nursery and got an earlier start, there's nothing anywhere that it can cross-pollinate with. So I probably won't have fruit this year. That's sad. Wish I'd known that. I had to grab two of them for that matter. I didn't, uh, didn't see that until just now. Next year, maybe, some of the others um, blossom up, but not now. Boy, that would be nice if that would uh, bear fruit. That would be really nice. Here's something else I've been wanting to show you. Um, my heater, my wood stove shed, is, is multi-purpose. It has a nest. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's made of mud and um, moss, this bird nest. And they were sloppy when they made it. They dropped a lot of stuff. They're still making it. Yeah, I'm going to have babies under here pretty soon. And that's sort of cool, actually. I wonder why. It looks like they had a lot of false starts all along here. And then finally got a place where it would stick. But anyway. Bird is making a nest up here. I'm going to have babies here. Well, I got the fence repaired. Fortunately, the uh, fiberglass stake is flexible. Can you see that? And uh, stood right up. I'm so happy. And I got all the uh, dead wood cleared. Um, termites had taken that down. There's a whole mess of termites in that log. And that took down the other one, I guess. Actually, no. The base of that tree is full of termites. It's all blackened inside. So I cleared that all up. I'm going to mow this little section here now. My uh, Ryobi sawzall made really, really nice work of that tree. Oh. I love that tool. I think while I'm at it, I'm going to trim these uh, pieces down here that are hanging over the fence. Not exactly a good thing to have. I'll just cut them up close to the tree and get rid of them while I'm here. And eventually i got to do that all along this uh, tree line. I trimmed all over around the whole perimeter of the yard around the fence. I cut with the mower. I literally just, just went this way back and forth in and out all the way across as far as I could reach and I got to get the weed evacuator out and um, do around the posts and then around the uh, solar panels and the garden edge and then I have to mow the garden as long as the weather holds out that storm is coming but I'll work until it hits see how much I can get done here but uh, slowly reclaiming uh, my yard from nature some people say you should live in harmony with nature but uh, I'm sorry, you can't live in harmony with something that wants to eat you or kill you. Um, if I don't keep this yard mowed and everything turned back, the ticks will be so outrageous that I'll get sick and die. You just, and all the other wild animals out here, you just have to keep it under control or you'll lose it and your life. You can't live in harmony with nature because nature will eat you or kill you. It's just the way it is. Nature is brutal. Now I'm going to take back nature today. A lot of work. But at least I'll get that done today. And then I'll start working on the garden. I was hoping to get the garden planted today. But, uh, boy, I don't know. With all the maintenance and cleanup work that is necessary now, I just don't know. I might get lucky to get that garden cut with a lawnmower yet today and trimmed, get everything trimmed. And all along the edge of the, uh, the electric fence line all that has to be trimmed down so well, that's wild problem is the uh, I'll have to get up all the rocks that are in the middle before I can even cut and then I can come in through here with the mower and then I can start working and then the um, that's a desert I guess fortunately though we pretty much baked off 
I might tail it again because it's uh, some of the grasses and weeds are growing through again. I'll see if I can pull them out. See how it goes. And then I want to stake these garden edges off so that uh, I know what's what until I get all the mulch in and get the everything done properly. So let me put the camera down and get at it. Well I've opened up the fence to the garden and I've got some gripper handles that I'll put on there so I can open and close it as I need it. Um, I'm pulling out all the rocks out of the middle put them in the wheelbarrow. I'm dumping them in piles where they'll go onto the uh, netting here or the what do you call it mesh. A lot of piles of rocks and that'll help stop growth around the electric fence line. I guess the front wall is all going to be covered with rocks, a rock border, uh, but the sides will have to be done with mulch or something else because I would just won't have enough rocks. And it's a lot of work laying them out. It's just way, way, way too much work doing this. But I'll get the front done. I think it'll look nice when it's done. Well, I hope it'll look nice. But I've started it now, so I'll finish it. Uh, I have to go a little bit wider than the netting or that mesh so that I cover it and it looks better. Otherwise, I'll see the edges of that. So I don't know if I'll have enough rocks by the time I'm done. I guess we'll see. But um, it's lunchtime. I think it's about 12 31 o'clock. And I think the storm might have blown north of me. It was a pretty intense storm. I'll go in and check the weather as I'm eating lunch. But it's uh, looking pretty good right now. Good day for working out here. I still have to get all the trim work done out here. And. Uh, cut all this grass out of the garden before it can even till so it's quite a bit of work now I had shown you in Michigan the food that I got by the way my rock garden is looking good but the um, trees are shading it too badly so I do have to clear out these trees so that I'll have some more sunlight over here um, I pulled out of all of my uh, plants out of the car. I've arranged them up here for now. I'll have to water some of them. But these are all the plants that I brought over. Ooh, that berry didn't make it. I'll have to get them in the ground right away. I don't know if that can pull out of it or not. But I've got all these plants here. And um, these are the ones that I uprooted myself. The trees are doing all right. They don't care at all. Looks like I've got three or four, four trees here. Maybe three. Some of them are branched out. And all my uh, ones that I purchased, these are just some pretty flowers. Uh, they were just really nice and they were cheap. I think it was three dollars for the whole flat of these things. And, um, oops, he needs some, uh, some water that one's dry give these guys some water and go in and have lunch I got some strawberries here I think they were already bearing fruit as long as the chipmunks and squirrels don't get up here yeah they were already bearing fruit as long as the critters don't get up here and eat them on me I'll be having some uh, strawberries soon there's a nice big one down in there so I'll get all this stuff going hopefully all today see how it goes but I want to get all this stuff in the ground today they've got strawberries different sorts of peppers bell peppers cauliflower broccoli Brussels sprouts cabbage tomatoes sweet leaf very nice stuff so lunchtime I have a mess on my counter I'm using my headlamp so you can see what I got going on here I had to pull a bunch of stuff out from under the counter because, while I was gone, a mouse got into the flower and um, chewed through the bag and made a mess of things and pooped all over under there again. Hate mice so bad. So now I've got to check everything out, see what's been hurt and what hasn't, and uh, see what I have to throw away, look through underneath the counter and do a thorough search everywhere. Oh, this thing is blinking. Uh-oh. Anyway, uh, it's a mess. It's disgusting. More disinfecting. We'll do that after 
in the afternoon or evening after it rains. Fired up the old propane fridge today. This is in the old camper. Um, I still haven't taken it out, but uh, I hope I still got, yeah, I got a flame there. You can see, I think you can see the glow. Barely see the glow of the flame. Anyway, I had to disinfect this. I had accidentally left one single item in there, which the flies got into. And uh, I had to completely disinfect the whole fridge through and through with sanitizing wipes. And, um, yeah, got it going again. That was quite a task. But, uh, especially now that it's warmer, actually it's in the high 70s, and next week's going to be in the 80s, um, having a cold drink is very nice, very, very helpful for relieving the thirst. So, that's why I got this fridge going right away. That's going to help me out a lot, I think. The big roosters have saved their heads for another day. Actually, I'm not going to kill them now. Because they are really serving a good purpose. Oh, there they are, the big boys strutting. There was a massive hawk sitting right up here in a tree, watching over the whole place. And the roosters gave an alarm, and all the little birds were hiding. Um, and the big birds went into the big container, the big uh, chicken tractor, and the little birds were huddled around this tank right here. And the hawk was trying to figure a way to get through my netting, uh, my uh, crisscross line up there, when I came out and uh, chased him away. It's illegal to kill a hawk, unfortunately, even to protect your own animals. But um, at least my roosters saved the birds again for another day. So the big boys are definitely uh, doing a good job there, keeping their heads. I put my citronella plant right inside the door of the porch. I was told by the um, greenhouse, the people working at the greenhouse, a nursery I guess you call them, um, put it up inside your door and it'll help protect your, your area from mosquitoes because they don't like the smell of it. So I put it right here inside my porch and what is this exactly? Citronella mosquito plant, that's what it's called citronella mosquito plant so I put it right here inside the porch and um, I think it's gonna work just like a house plant because the thing has doubled since I bought it just two days ago quite amazing the thing is actually doubled in size and is growing really nice so I'll probably put that into a bigger pot and keep it in a pot and keep it right here all summer see how it does right there looks happy now That'll become a nice bushy plant. And then hopefully, oh, now I can smell it. Um, hopefully, I can, uh, I'll have a heated sort of a greenhouse idea in winter. I have ideas and plans to try to keep my, my plants warm through the winter. I'm about to show you something that's quite amazing. At least it amazes me. I have uh, been out into the forest and cut down some saplings which I used as fence posts and they were brutally mishandled and treated roughly I cut off all the knobs and branches and ripped it to shreds, shredded some of the bark cut the top off, cut the bottom off, pounded it into the ground and it's growing a tree how crazy is that? Um, that's all fresh growth there's another one right there that's all fresh growth and there's another one now, that's pretty impressive, I think. There's one there, that one's growing down there. The things have started to grow. Now this one is old, that's an older one. Oh, there's a new one. I don't know if you can see the branch coming off of it, brand new. Um, pretty impressive. Oops, I have to go around my truck. My solar uh, wire, electric fence wire is there. Now, if it's just one or two, eh, I wouldn't be too surprised, but a lot of these are growing. Look at that. This one actually has some nice leaves coming out of it. I just can't believe this. These things are actually, I have transplanted trees by 
hacking them up and pounding them into the dirt, roughly. Look at this. That one's really growing nicely. I can't believe it. I've transplanted trees. Not all of them took, but most of them did. There's another one. That one's growing. There's one. The ants are tearing that one up pretty badly for whatever reason. That one's growing nicely. There's an even better one over there. See all the growth on it. I can't believe it. I have just transplanted trees, basically. Um, which is in a way maybe good news because that means they're going to take root. And they're going to be, they're not going <laughs> to degrade with time. If I keep them trimmed, keep them short, <laughs> my living hedgerow will literally be alive. How crazy is that? So I'll give these a chance and see what happens just out of curiosity. Pretty crazy. Well, I got the trimming on, done all around the whole RV, around the greenhouse, around the whole perimeter of the fence both electric fences I got this one turned back on and it's uh, running well and happy I trimmed around each fence post and everything I could think of I trimmed now I can't get the um, grass that's growing up inside the chicken wire without wrecking the chicken wire or the uh, weed whacker so that's either gonna be a uh, manual job by hand or the uh, dish soap and vinegar that so many have suggested which I think I'm going to end up resorting to actually. I put in my tomatoes. I'm looking for the, uh, those are the two I got in Michigan. Looking for my extra bamboo stakes so I can stake them up happily. So they'll be all right. But, whoa, what a mess. I never did get to the garden yet. Uh, it's around three in the afternoon and uh, I got church tonight. So I think I'm going to go in and work on the computer a little. The, uh, the storm is close. It's been holding off over Scranton, Pennsylvania most of the day. Just outside Scranton, according to the map I've been looking at. Pretty interesting how it's held off so long. But, well, it gave me a chance to get this cleaned up.